Hello everyone and welcome to General Microbiology. Today we'll be discussing the adeno-associated virus, a small replication deficient virus of nevertheless significant importance. The adeno-associated virus, or AAV, is a member of the Parvoviridae family. It belongs to the genus of dependoviruses or specifically the dependoparvoviruses as there have been other dependoviruses proposed that belong to other viral families. It comprises a species of adeno-associated dependoparvoviruses, non-enveloped, replication-deficient viruses that are generally not known to cause disease in humans and that have at least in part because of their low pathogenicity been broadly investigated for application in medicine and gene therapy specifically. The viral shell or capsid is comprised exclusively of proteins and has no exterior lipid envelope. The shell is comprised of three proteins called VP1, VP2 and VP3 in a ratio of approximately 1 to 1 to 10. During assembly, these pyramidal proteins form an icosahedral nearly spherical particle comprised of approximately 60 monomeric protein units. The overall particle diameter is about 20 to 25 nanometers, which makes it one of the smallest viruses even among the non-enveloped viral species. Using the Baltimore classification, the AAV falls into category 2 a general class that is comprised of single-stranded positive or sense DNA molecules that prior to the production of the messenger RNA synthesize the complementary strand of antisense DNA to obtain that double-stranded DNA construct that then partakes in the formation of DNA concatenomers that can either remain episomal in the host nucleus or undergo insertion into a specific region on chromosome 19. The genome of the adeno-associated virus is very simple. Using the AAV2 as an example, we can see that the genome is flanked by two 145 base pair inverted terminal repeats, or ITRs, the red boxes. These are generally necessary for the formation of the aforementioned DNA concatenomers incorporation and rescue of the AAV genome into the host cell and the required insists for effective replication and encapsulation of the viral genome. Sandwiched between the ITRs are the two genes, rep and cap, the first of which codes for four proteins responsible for replication, integration and packaging of the viral genome while the second of which codes for capsid protein is responsible for the encapsulation of the genetic material. Recently, the cap gene has been shown to also produce a non-structural protein called the assembly activating protein, or AAP. Uh, this protein has been shown to be essential for the capsid assembly process, but the mechanism is not yet fully characterized. The two genes have three promoters, the expression of various messenger transcripts is variable during the infection cycle and has been shown to be variable based on the presence and activity of the helper virus required for AAV replication. As you can see from this graph, depicting the genome size of varial viral classes known to infect vertebrates, the AAV, a single-stranded DNA virus, has a relatively small but far from the smallest genomes. At least in part, this is due to AAV simplicity. The encapsulation process has been extensively characterized both in vitro and in vivo, with many studies demonstrating that the approximately 4,700 base pair genome limit cannot be significantly exceeded without impacting either the encapsulation or replication of the virus. The AAV has more than 10 identified serotypes. These vary mostly by the structure of the capsid proteins and the genes encoding them. This variance affords the virus relatively specific tissue tropism, which has been shown to be specific down to the tissue type as well as cell type. Recent studies have been able to develop engineered capsids through molecular engineering and evolutionary selection 
that create viral capsids which are highly specific to a given cell type, even within a general tissue, by evolving or engineering the capsids to be specific to a given receptor, which is expressed on some cells and not on others. This capsid engineering is thought to enable gene delivery to certain cell types, aiding gene therapy and cancer treatment was specifically afforded not only by the genetic material via, for example, a promoter, but also more naturally through the capsid protein affinity for a given transmembrane receptor. Adeno-associative viruses can infect both dividing and quiescent cells, which makes them particularly interesting for gene delivery. The infection cycle varies from cell to cell, however it generally follows a five-step process which begins with attachment to the host cell via a given primary transmembrane receptor, as an example the heparin sulfate proteoglycan and one or more co-receptors such as AB beta 5 and FGFR1 in the case of AAV2. The attachment is followed by endocytosis and endosomal trafficking towards the nucleus, escape from the late endosome and translocation into the nucleus where uncoding of the viral particle takes place. Assisted by the helper virus, the AAV which either resides as an episomal concactomer or is integrated into the chromosome can form double-stranded DNA genome and begin expression of the rep and cap genes followed by assembly of the progeny and release from the cell. The virus generally elicits only a very mild immune response, which is comprised of a transient influx of neutrophils and other leukocytes into the liver, likely to clear the viral particles within a few hours. A humoral response via the production of antibodies against the various viral proteins, predominantly capsid proteins, which an estimated 80% of the population already possess. And finally, the presence of a limited number of CD8 positive cytotoxic T cells and CD4 positive T helper cells specific for the AAV protein components with Th1 and Th2 memory. The properties that make AAV particularly interesting for medical applications are its ability to integrate into the host genome into a safe harbor location on chromosome 19 called AAVS1. The site-specific integration into an area of the genome thought to be minimally disruptive to normal function, which can in turn allow for the delivered genes to persist from one generation of a cell to another, is a property that allows for stable transfection through various generations in dividing cells. In situations where the entire genome, with the exception of the ITRs, is replaced by a therapeutic gene, the AAV is nevertheless persistent, but only for a single generation of cells as a DNA concoctomer in the nuclear episome of the host cell. The second property is AAV's replication deficiency, which contributes at least in part to its safety profile. As a dependovirus, the AAV is only able to complete its replication cycle when certain genes from helper viruses are available in cis or trans within the host cell. Some of the helper viruses known to be effective at affording the AAV its full replication cycle are adenoviruses, herpes viruses, and the vaccinia virus. For the adenovirus specifically, the genes required to provide the full replication cycle are E1A, E1B55K, E2A, E4ORF6, and VA genes. Modern production techniques exploit this property by adding various components in cis and in trans in order to manufacture the AAV with a relatively high efficiency. The AAV is among the most well-characterized viruses, at least in part due to its simplicity and low pathogenicity. As of 2018, the vector has been utilized in over 120 clinical trials worldwide and comprises just under 6% of the virus vector gene therapy trials. Properties such as low pathogenicity, ability to integrate into safe harbor or remain episomal, specific tissue tropism, infectivity of both dividing and quiescent cells, as well as simplicity in manufacturing, make the AAV a powerful tool in the hands of preclinical and clinical researchers. Active research is also ongoing to overcome several of AAV's limitations, including the small genome size and highly prevalent humoral immunity in the general population, 
by, for example, genomic complementation or capsid engineering. This includes a brief overview of the adeno associated virus, a small but nevertheless important natural tool that science and medicine are actively working with today.